all right boys so what you want to go ahead and do is you want to start it from the replay button you do need tiny task to do this um the settings i have is one xp continuous playback and then my hotkeys which is f8 and control shift alt p to play it back so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and start on the replay button start the macro spam click replay and you want to go ahead spam yes take your time then place the farm spam place it just in case it doesn't register the first time click off and click q at the same time and do you want to do that for the rest of them as well make sure to spread your farms out as well you don't want to be too close to where like you can't click it and you do want a pretty strong unit to carry as well you also need blossom i'm probably going to say that in the intro but i'm saying it again anyways so as you see i placed my unit down now he does have monarch so he's pretty strong on placement but you can place more than one unit if you need to just depends on your loadout now what you want to do is spam click on the unit and use the uh key binds to upgrade your farms that's what i do that's what i recommend now if you don't want to you don't have to you can click on the actual ui itself but i wouldn't do that i would just use the hot keys or the key binds set for it And you want to spam it a bunch of times just, just in case the uh, clicks don't register. Now, if you do need to upgrade your carry unit for like the beginning waves, you can upgrade it. There, I'm not stopping you from doing that. Just, you know, I'm just showing y'all a little way of how I do it. Because uh, I have a pretty strong carry unit. So once you're done maxing out your farms, you can go ahead and place like your main DPS unit. Mine is going to be Egress and Sung Joo at the same time. Sung Joo actually really carries this. So you do want to have Sung Joo for this. I will recommend that. And I, I guess you can have Egress and Sung Joo to be honest. You can probably do this with anybody, but I would recommend those two for sure. Because Sung Jin Woo carries actually carry a lot in this. So you definitely want to um, have a pretty good Sung Jun Woo, a pretty decent Sung Jun Woo. So currently I'm upgrading the Egress. I'm about to go ahead and place down the Sung Jun Woo. Click away and spam Q and then I'm going to go ahead and spam upgrade him. We want to go ahead and get him pretty strong so we can go ahead and get his uh, clones. And so his clones can have really good damage as well. So now that we have my boy Sung Jun Woo at his um, ability, we're going to go ahead and upgrade the Egress now so we can get him fully and then we can just continue to uh, upgrade Sung Jun Woo even more so he can be stronger. But we still want to have a little bit of money left so we can go ahead and place Blossom down and get her uh, ability so I can attack the boss.
So now that we have Egress at his Flail We, we're gonna go ahead and uh, upgrade my boy Sung Jun Woo now. Now he's doing 44k. So his clones, about three or four of his clones will have 44k damage, which would be pretty nice. And then we'll go ahead and place down the Blossom next wave since it is wave 19. I'll probably want to upgrade him after this. So we click off. Now we place the Blossom. Click away. Upgrade her. We're going to place another one as well. We need about two down. Um, I can't really see right now. I think it's down. Spam click her. Use her ability. Use Sung Jin Woo's ability. And then we're going to use her ability again. So now my units are attacking and boom. That's pretty much it. Now we click off and that was easy. Now just spam click a little more just in case uh, just just in case the uh like the macro is a little late or whatever and we sit here and now we put our cursor back on the replay button and in the macro and that is it hopefully this video did help you guys out um let me know if it works for you boys and uh yeah i'll see you guys next video peace